Hello guys, in this video, we are going to complete the second part of connecting to the backend lesson. So after finishing this video, all the foods inside the home page and inside the food page are going to come from the server and not from the data.ts inside the front end. And after this lesson, we are going to gradually increase the responsibility of the backend. So watch this video to the end if you like to know how. Okay, we are at this step of connecting to the backend. Here for having a single place for managing all the URLs, we need to add a URLs.ts to the front end. So let's go to the Explorer, front end, SRC and app, right click on the shared folder and create a new folder with the name of constants for holding all the constant values. And URLs are constant too. Right click on the constants and select new file, then name it urls.ts. Here, first of all, we need to define the base address because it is shared between all the APIs. So write const base underline URL, all capital letters, equal to the address of Node.js application that is http colon slash slash localhost colon 5000. Here we go. Currently, the address of the server is localhost 5000, but when we publish our code on a real server, it will be changed to the address of a real domain. Now that we have the base URL, we need to define API URLs here. The first one is foods URL that gives us all the foods. So write export const foods underline URL equal to base URL plus slash API slash foods. Let's add next API URL that is similar to this one so we can copy it and paste it here. Instead of foods URL, we can write foods tags URL and we can say base URL plus slash API slash foods slash tags. But as you can see, this part is completely similar to the foods URL. So instead of writing this, we can write foods URL and we just need to put the tags. So we are adding the slash tags to the foods URL. That is manageable much easier. Let's copy this one and add the next one. Instead of tags, we want to say get the foods by underline search URL. So foods by search URL will be foods URL plus search and put a slash at the end of it because on the service that we use this URL, we want to pass the route parameter. So if you put in a slash here, it will be easier for you to pass the search term here as route parameter. It is very similar to the next API, that is foods by tag URL. And instead of search, write tag. And the last one that is food by ID that has nothing except a slash. So it is slash API slash foods slash so we can pass the id and it's going to find that food based on the id okay our urls.ts is ready let's go for the next part that is adding http client module to the project we need http client module for having connection to the backend for adding http client module we need to go to the app module.ts if you look at here we have all the components as declaration here and we have other angular projects as module here because each angular project is a module if you look at here this whole app module is an ng module so it could be imported inside another angular project and http client is a module too so let's go here and import http client module from it is available inside angular domain slash command slash http now we can add it to the imports part put a comma after the last one and paste it here now we are able to use http client to have connection to the backend close the app module and now we can go to the food service to connect all of these methods to the backend but first of all we need to inject the HTTP client. So inside the constructor, write private HTTP that is of type HTTP client. Let us start by get all method. The first thing that we need to know about the HTTP is that it will not send the raw data as our type. It will send an observable and we need to subscribe to it. And after the connection to the backend is finished, 
it will give us our data or it will send an error. So we need to get an observable with the type of food array instead of just food array. Now remove these sample foods and replace it with this.http. Remember the method that we used on the backend side, it was get. So here, where we need to get our data from? Foods underline URL. If you look at here, you could see it. But before passing the URL, we needed to pass the type of return type from this URL, that is food array. Here we go. The first method is ready, but we can't see its results yet because the other methods here are related to the get all and get all doesn't work in the way that it used to work. So now let's fix the other ones. Let's go for get all foods by search term. Let's remove everything from here and write this.http dot get with the type of food array with the url of foods by search url plus the search term now we're passing the search term as a road parameter to this api url and that was the reason that we put it on a slash and the end of it so we don't need to put it here by your hand we just need to put a plus and pass the search term here we go the search finished too let's go for the tags here write this dot http dot get it needs to get a tag array and its URL should be foods underline tags URL and its return type should be changed to observable of tag array. Okay, next method is get all foods by tag. Here, when the tag is equal to all, it needs to return all the foods. So we don't touch this part, but for returning a filtered foods based on the tag, we can write this.http.get with the return type of food array with the API URL foods by tag URL plus the tag that we have here. And don't forget, put an observable here as the return type of this method. And the last one that is get food by ID, we need to remove everything and we need to write this.http.get with a type of food, it's just a single food, it is not a food array, and food underlined by ID, plus food ID, and once again, return type of observable food. Okay, all the methods inside the food service are ready. Let's go and fix the usage of them inside the components. Let's start by the home component. Go to the explorer, and from the components pages, select home and TS file. Here, as you can see, the foods is equal to food array. We don't want to touch it, but inside the constructor, we want to define a variable with the name of foods observable that is of type observable of food array. We want to use it to get the observables of these values. Then we need to subscribe to it and set the foods. If we don't use this variable, we need to subscribe to each of these items separately that makes the code a little bit messy. So instead of this.foods here, let's write foods observable. Copy it, replace it with this one and this one. So instead of the foods, we are setting the result of these services inside an observable. Very good. Now that we are getting all the values of these services after the else method, we can subscribe to it. Let's write foods observable dot subscribe, set its name to server foods. And inside the body of the method, set this.foods equal to server foods. So let's review it. Here we define a variable with the type of observable of food array. All of these three methods are returning an observable of type food array. So we can define a local variable and set their values inside it. After that, we only need to subscribe only once for all of them. Okay, the home component is finished. Let's go for the next component that is food page component. Food page component that TS file. But inside the food page component, because we have only one method to call, we don't need to define an extra variable. We just need to remove this. This dot food equal to, because we cannot directly set it to the food, we need to subscribe to it. And when the server food is ready, set this dot food equal to server food. Food page is finished. It was super easy. Let's go for the next one. That is tags component because we are getting all the tags inside the tags component go to the explorer and inside the partials select tags and tags component.ts here 
just like the foot page remove this that tags equal to and instead subscribe to it and write server tags and write this that tags are equal to server tags now if you go to the browser you can see in the home page we have a nothing found this will happen if you didn't start the server or you accidentally stopped it so let's go and start the server again from the view menu select terminal make sure you are in the backend folder and write npm start after seeing this message you can come back and refresh the page as you can see the data are coming from the server because when the server was done it didn't work now let's test the tags okay they work perfectly let's test the search for example fri okay it found the fried potatoes but what about going to the food page it works but as i know there should be a problem if you press f12 on your keyboard you will see an error message cannot read properties of undefined reading id to fix this error we need to come back to the code and go to the food page component html file and here instead of checking the food id we need to put it back to check only the food for showing the not found and for showing the food details because when we have connection to the backend at the time that the food is not ready the food is undefined okay now if we come back to the browser we will see no errors okay we made our angular project to be connected to the backend in the next lesson, we are going to implement the login process. You've been watching Code with Nasir, and I hope to see you next time.